hello thanks for clicking on my video welcome to my channel lovely moments creating if you are new here consider joining the family by clicking that subscribe button and remembering that notification bell so that you will be reminded when I upload a video my name is Jenny and on this channel I create budget-friendly home decor that's easy to do so if you want to see some of my creations keep watching in today's video i am going to be decorating my sink area in my kitchen i wanted to decorate it using some traditional colors for easter just something fun to look at now some of these items can stay up for the springtime, but i wanted to make sure that it was budget friendly since it will only be up a short period of time so i went to the dollar tree picked up a few items from walmart and i just added a few things to change up some of the pieces that i found at the dollar tree and I think everything came out great now I wanted to make sure that I still kept the countertops not so cluttered because I do have a little small TV that I keep on my counter while I'm cooking or in the kitchen and at the end of the video I would show you how I styled it with putting my little TV back up there because that's very important so here's a quick look at how everything turned out now for the first DIY I love these vases from the Dollar Tree and I think a floral arrangement is always good especially in the kitchen and for the Easter spring season I thought it would be really cute because you have all of those pretty yellows whites and pinks but I'm going over this vase with some white acrylic paint because I think that gives it that high-end look when the vase is white now you can you can spray paint this but I like to use paint because it's going to give me a little texture without trying but because it's in the kitchen I am going to take some Mod Podge and go over the entire vase Dollar Tree did put out some really pretty spring florals so I picked up these bunches here and I got one in white, yellow, and pink. I actually really like the greenery that is attached to these florals. So right now I'm just pulling off the tags and then I'm just going to add them right into the vase. No filler and I do not have to cut these down. They fit perfect and I think this was a great addition to my kitchen sink area. From Walmart, I got these little wood knob thingies, <laughs> and they're with $2 a pack. And then I have two of these wood rounds. I'm just going to create two little risers. Now, what I'm going to do is use that white acrylic paint to paint over both of these round wood pieces. I apologize if you hear my little birdie chirping in the background she's really loud today after I get them painted I'm just using some Dollar Tree sandpaper to go around the edges and to smooth everything down on the top now with the little wood pieces they are different sizes so I'm just going to flip these over and you have four of each size four of them are a little bigger than the other four so that's okay because one riser would just be taller than the other one and I'm going to style two separate things on them so I'm just going to place the little knob things where I want them I'm not going to paint them and I'm just going to use my hot glue for this you can use wood glue but my hot glue is doing the job so i'm just going to add a little to each one of the knobs and press them down and then i'm going to repeat that with the other little riser since these are going to be in the kitchen i am going to go over both of these using some Mod Podge.
the Dollar Tree have the cutest little items for Easter so I picked up a few of those that I am going to be using to decorate my kitchen sink area I'm going to add some of these items to the risers and I just thought these were really cute for spring and the Easter season here is how one of the risers turned out I think it is so cute and it's holding my little cleaning items for the kitchen and the little bucket I have my little cleaning sponge in there and I think this is so cute and later on in the video you'll see with the other riser I styled a little hand soap on it with a little garland for this DIY I love the Dollar Tree baskets they always are so cute and I love this color but I wanted to cover the handles using this jute cord I like to have baskets on the counters I have a little um, decor hanging um, piece in the kitchen. I like to have baskets on it just to hold the boys' snacks. And so as you can see, I'm just making sure that I'm wrapping the rope close together so that it could completely cover the handle. Once I get that complete, this is how it looks. And what I'm going to do is repeat that step to the other handle. And then I'm just going to tack it down with some hot glue and cut off the excess. I love Dollar Tree baskets. I think they are great finds and you don't have to do much to change them up. And I thought this would just be a cute spring way to style the little boy snacks so they can just grab and go. So for the next DIY, I'm going to be using 11 by 14 canvas and pictured frame from the Dollar Tree. I also have these cute little Easter garlands and I'm going to be also using one that is carrots. And what I'm doing is trying to adjust this canvas in the frame. I removed the glass and the paper and I'm just trying to get it adjusted as much as possible. Pull down some of the tabs to secure it but I will be taking some hot glue to go all around this frame to make sure that it is nice and secured. the little bunnies and the eggs and the little carrots are on garland all I'm going to do is cut off the pieces that I want to use I think these are so cute so after I get everything cut off I am going to place them on the frame and here are those little carrots and as you can see I'm doing the same just cutting a few of them off of the jute cord and then what I'm going to do is just use some hot glue to attach everything so I'm going to place my little bunnies and my eggs where I want them and I decided to go in with the two different color checkerboard prints I absolutely love the mixture of those colors so as you can see I'm just using some hot glue to tack them down and then I'm going to take a few of those carrots and I'm just going to add them right in the center using some hot glue as well and then what I did was take a little piece of that jute cord to create a little basic bow and I am going to attach that little bow right in the center of the carrots And then I'm going to take a little white chalk paint and brush over the frame just to give it a little bit more farmhouse look. I didn't like the regular color of the frame by itself. So after I get that complete, that will be it. And I think it turned out so cute. For my next DIY, I found this really cute cutting board that said kitchens were made for families to gather. And all I'm going to do is embellish it a little bit with these little pieces that I pulled off a of Dollar Tree floral, this little Dollar Tree, yellow and white ribbon, and some jute cord. And basically all I'm going to do is layer these items on the handle of the cutting board.
first I'm just hot gluing a piece of the ribbon around it and then I'll go in and layer over it with some jute cord. And then I'm going to embellish it a little bit more with the little greenery and the floral pieces. I'm also going to take that yellow and white ribbon and create a little basic bow to add to it as well. I like the little decorative cutting board as it was and I thought it will be a cute little budget friendly way to style the kitchen and just by embellishing it a little bit I thought it just made it a little bit more <laughs> cuter so after I get everything attached that will be it and like I said I think it came out really cute So I found this cute little sign at the Dollar Tree for Easter. I thought it was cute just the way it was, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of embellishment to it using these cute little buffalo check carrots that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And all I'm going to do is hot glue them down to the sign, one at the top and one at the bottom. I just thought this was really simple and cute and I love the way it basically was already. And I just added the little carrots and I think it brought a nice little touch to it. I have this little vase from the Dollar Tree. What I'm doing is just taking some little jute cord to attach it around the rim of this vase because what I'm going to do is just place these cute little spatulas that the Dollar Tree put out for Easter. I thought they were so adorable and I just wanted to style them in the kitchen because you can actually really use these. So I'm just going to place them in this little jar and style these in the kitchen. They are super cute and they are also useful and I just love the way it looks styled for the Easter. Easter season and these are definitely going to be kept up throughout the spring. So I'm always looking for little useful budget friendly items that I can use in my home. So I'm going to share with you these Walmart finds that I use all the time. It's a four pack of these cutting mats and they are plastic but I love them. You get four different colors which I like because I can switch these up for different seasons and it will match my kitchen. So they have the little rough side and the smooth side and what I do is usually just place these right on top of my wood cutting board or you can just place them straight on the countertop they are so cute they're easy to clean and they are super durable so this is how I usually just style them right on top of my cutting board or I want to show you that you can place it right on the countertop and as you can see the little grips are great and do not slide or anything I think these are perfect and I just wanted to share with you a quick little find that you may find useful for your home thank you all so much for tuning in and watching my video I hope you enjoyed today's video just as much as I did if so please remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you have already done so subscribe to my channel because i would love to have you here as always in the comment section below let me know which one of these diys were your favorite i thought this was just a really budget friendly way to decorate my sink area to just give me something cute to look at while i'm in the kitchen now here is how i changed it up a little bit because of course I had to add my little kitchen TV back to the counter because I have to watch my favorite show while I'm in the kitchen cooking or cleaning or whatever. But I think everything is simple and great. And I love the little hand soap, the cute little simple risers. I didn't have to spend that much money and I think it came out really cute. Until next time, my friends, stay safe so I can see you in the next video.